Hello and welcome to We Learn by Sharo. I am Shraddha Banode and in today's session we are going to see week 6 assignment of Electrical Machines 1 from NPTEL's YM course. I am sharing this solution with all of you to understand the concept and steps how to solve rather than just copying it. So better pay attention to the steps. I am not claiming that all the solutions are correct but that is what I have solved from the best of my knowledge. So let's see the solution. This week 6 assignment is based on parallel connection of transformers and Scott connection. So first problem is on a parallel connection of transformer. There we are given with two transformers connected in parallel. Transformer 1 with 200 kV rating, 11,000 by 230 volts and equivalent impedance is given as 1 plus J 4.75 percent. So to note here is that impedance is given in percentage neither in ohms nor in per unit. Transformer 2 is given as 300 kVA 11,000 by 240 volts and Z equivalent of transformer 2 is 1.75 plus J 5 percent. I am assuming this impedances to be referred from the secondary side. The HB sites are parallelly fed from uh, 11,000 volts bus. So uh, this is the data which is given and you are supposed to find out uh, no load circulating current, uh, ohmic loss because of circulating current and, uh, and no load terminal voltage. Okay, so we'll solve this problem step by step. Very first thing I have impedances in percentage. We need to convert it into ohms for the calculations. So, yes, I have uh, found those secondary full load current of transformer 1 and transformer 2. And uh, transformer 1 is 200 kVA, so 200 into 1000 upon 230 that gives you current. And voltage upon current basically gives you impedance. So, basically, to convert percentage into ohms, I have multiplied it by actual ohmic value, or you can say the base value of impedances. So 1 plus J 4.75 is the given percentage value into 230 square upon uh, like V square upon the KVA rating. That will give us ZE in ohms. So equivalent impedance of first transformer came out to be this. Then secondary current of secondary full load current of transformer 2 I calculated with the help of KVA rating and secondary voltage and uh, that current comes out to be 1250. But as of second transformer is concerned in ohms to convert it into ohms, I have taken the percentage value, multiplied it by V square, that is 240 square divided by the KVA value into 1000, that is 300 into 1000. So this gives me the value of impedance in ohms. Now I have equivalent impedance of transformer 1 and transformer 2. I have added both the values so that I can use it into my calculation. Now for calculation purpose, if you want to find out circulating current, it is the difference of E1, E2. Now it depends, like if whichever value is greater accordingly, you can take greater E1 minus E2 upon Z1 plus Z2 gives you circulating current. And when I calculated substituting the given values, I got circulating current as 4.35, angle of minus 74.85. This gives me the circulating current magnitude as 4.35 amperes and that is your first answer. Now second is to find out ohmic loss because of circulating current. Uh, ohmic loss are generally given by I square R. So I square will be IC square here because circulating current ki wajah se hai meni hai ohmic loss. That is 4.35 square into R equivalent of both the transformers. So hum dono ka sirf resistance wala le value lenge, real wala value lenge. So when you will see uh, the equivalent uh, jo dono ka addition kare bhi thi, usme jo real value hai, that is the value of resistance. The imaginary value and that is the value of reactance. So 0.6 mene le liya and when I calculated ohmic value I got it as 11.35 watt is the ohmic loss because of circulating current and that is what my second answer. Third we are supposed to find out terminal voltage. Now terminal voltage is equal to E minus IZ. Now you can take it as E1 minus I1 Z1 also or you can take E2 minus I2 Z2 also. So mene yaha pe uh, I trial and error, I have E1 here, so E1 minus I1 Z1 I got, so I got and then I got E2 respects, E2 minus I2 uh, Z2, so I got the value 235.587, actually it depends upon current, <coughs> where it will be voltage drop, so because here 
the current the circulating current what we have calculated is flowing from higher potential to lower potential so it will be added in 230 the, uh, the drop will be added in 230 and the drop will be subtracted from 240 so the correct value i uh, finalize the correct value as is supposed to be 235.587 because i suppose in the one value 230 plus the drop is supposed to be taken then only we will get the circulating current as per the direction of current okay so here uh, my final value the answer of third question was like 235.587 is the terminal voltage of the parallel connection of the transformer all right then goes the next question in next question again two transformers are connected in parallel transformer one reading is given as 50 kva per unit resistance is given as 0 0.015 per unit leakage per unit leakage reactance is given as 0 0.07 no load secondary voltage is given as 420 volts. Similarly, transformer 2 is given as 100 kVA per unit resistance is 0 0.02, per unit leakage reactance is 0 0.045 and no load secondary voltage is 440 volts. Now, they have to share a load of 150 kVA at 440 volts with the load power factor of 0.85 lagging. Alright, so you need to find out circulating current again at no load and when the load is connected, how much uh, current is supplied by transformer 1, how much current is supplied by transformer 2. Also, if the transformer is, if any of the transformer is crossing its rating, that uh, one of the question is asked for that also, that we will see. This is the solution. Again, the value of impedances are given in per unit, but you are supposed to find out in ohms. So, I have taken the per unit value and the same thing, I multiplied V square upon the KVA rating. First was 50 kVA and second was 100 kVA. So when I calculated this value, you can see the calculations. I'm not going to refer it, but uh, impedance of transformer one came out to be 0 0.058 plus J 0 0.271. And also I've written the values in polar. In the similar fashion, I found Z2 also, that is the equivalent impedance of second transformer. And I got the value as it is shown on the screen. What was asked to you to find out? Circulating current. So depending upon whichever value is higher, you can take it. I see here I have taken as E2 minus E1 upon Z1 plus Z2. And I substituted all the values here and finally I got the circulating current as 53.91 angle of minus 74.88. Please verify your answers before submitting. So the circulating current what I got is 53.91 in magnitude and that is the answer of your next question. Okay. The next step is to find out load current and that comes out to be uh, 150 which is the load kVA into 1000 upon 440 is the load voltage and you got it as 340.91. Now this will help us giving us the value of ZL, ZL is equals to V by I and when we substitute we got ZL is equals to 1.29 which is the magnitude and angle you can get because you are given it as 0.85 lagging power factor. So if I take cos inverse of 0.85 I get 31.38. So ZL came, the complete value of ZL is 1.29 angle of 31.38 ohms uh, is the load impedance. All right. Then if we have all these values like Z1, Z2, ZL, uh, and so this will help us to find out the current of transformer 1 and transformer 2. So transformer 1 current the equation is as follows E1, Z1 plus E1, e, E1 minus E, don't get confused, it is E A and E, we are representing 1 and 2 only. So it is E1 minus E2 into ZL upon Z1 into Z2 plus Z into Z1 plus Z2. This formula we will find in any book which contains transformer. Transformer case may be a book derivation. See the formula. I have just substituted all the values and I got my final answer of I1 as 47.57 angle of minus 3.92. Please calculate it by yourself and check your answers. And if my answers are wrong at any step, just let me know in the comment box. Similarly, I have substituted the value of uh, I2 also. Similarly, I have written the equation for I2 also. And after substituting all the values, I got I2 as 282.179 angle of minus 37.83. Try to calculate by yourself and check your answers whether it is correct or not. That's it. This completes our second question. Then this is our third question. In third question, okay, one more thing I forgot to tell you here is your the next one more question which was asked. Which I have copied. I have not written. 
वो ये था ये एक लास्ट क्वेश्चन आपको पूछा था कि विच ट्रांसफॉर्मर एज क्रॉस शिफ्ट रेटिंग तो वो फाइंड करने का बहुत सिंपल सा तरीका है आप आई वन को वी वन से मल्टीप्लाई कर दो और आप आई वन को वी से मल्टीप्लाई करो और आई टू से आई टू को वी से मल्टीप्लाई करो और आपको लगता है कि जिसका भी के वी रेटिंग ज़्यादा है या है या नहीं है वो आपको वहाँ से पता चल जाएगा मैंने एक्चुअली कैलकुलेट तो किया पर मैंने यहाँ पे लिखा नहीं है आई वन जो करेंट है दैट केम आउट टू बी फोर्टी इसको अगर आप फोर से मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे तो आपको कुछ वैल्यू आती है विच इज़ लेसर देन के रेटिंग ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मर वन विच इज़ फिफ्टी so it means ki wo it is under a proper kv it is not like the it is not overloaded but when you take i2 current to 82.179 and when you multiply it by 440 you get kv rating more than 100 kv okay but rating of transformer 2 is 100 kv so because the kv rating of the transformer 2 is more than 100 it is crossing its rating so we can say here that transformer 2 is cross has crossed its rating that is how you can give answer of seven question and then we will go to the eighth question and spot connection is very simple calculation agar aap logo ne pehle se padh rakha hoga spot connection to aapko pata hai ki kaafi simple calculation hote hain spot connection ke transformation ratio of the c ab generally jab hum padhte hain to usko main transformer teaser transformer bolte hain but inhone kya kiya hai yahan pe teaser transformer pe furnace a laga diya hai and main transformer mein teaser furnace 2 laga diya hai to uske hisab se hi maine yahan pe find kiya hai ki तो मेन जो के टू है दैट इज मेन ट्रांसफॉर्मर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन रेशियो इज हंड्रेड अपॉइंट सिक्सटी सिक्स हंड्रेड दैट कम आउट टू बी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन फाइव वन फाइव एंड जो टीजर ट्रांसफॉर्मर का फॉर्मेस है दैट इज वन के वन इज इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड अपॉइंट पॉइंट एट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू सिक्स हंड्रेड दिस इज हाउ वी कैलकुलेट फॉर द स्पॉट कनेक्शन सो वी गॉट के वन ऑल्सो सेकेंडरी करेंट ऑफ टीजर ट्रांसफॉर्मर विल बी इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी इंटू वन थाउजेंड अपॉन हंड्रेड इंटू पॉइंट एट क्योंकि पावर फैक्टर आपको दिया हुआ है पॉइंट एट 250 उसका के वी ए है फर्नेस टू का तो यू गॉट इट एज थ्री वन टू फाइव एम पी अगर इसको आपको प्राइमरी पे कन्वर्ट करना है तो आप इसको सिंपली मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे के से ठीक है तो आई वन विल बी इक्वल्स टू के के वन इन टू द सेकेंडरी करेंट ऑफ द टीजर ट्रांसफॉर्मर ओके एंड वेन बी कैलकुलेटेड वी गॉट द वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन आई वन मीन्स प्राइमरी करेंट ऑफ द First transform, primary current of the teaser transformer here, suppose. So prim primary current of the teaser transformer is uh, is coming out to be 54.44 amperes. Now this is your I A, no doubt. I A will be this this value. You got uh, one answer of your question that is I A is equal to 54.44 amperes. Then let's go to the second that is main transformer. So if I I'll try to find out secondary current of the main transformer. 100 kV is given. So 100 into 1000 upon 100 volts into 0.8. Will give you one two five zero. Getting primary current of the main transformer, just multiply with the transformation ratio of the main transformer, and you will get it as eighteen point nine three. Now, ये जो होता है primary का जो main transformer का जो primary current होता है, वो पूरा नहीं होता. उसके साथ tertiary का भी current आपको लेना होता है. तो अगर आपको I B और I C निकालना है, which will be the same value, it will be equals to root of I M I one M square plus I1 T teaser का जो करेंट है अपॉन टू द होल स्क्वायर दिस फॉर्मूला यू विल अप्लाई एंड व्हेन यू कैलकुलेट यू विल गेट 33.155 एम्पीयर एज IB एंड IC सो IA वाज 54.44 IB एंड IC वाज आई IB एंड IC इज 33.155 एम्पीयर दिस इज माय फाइनल आंसर्स प्लीज डू योर कैलकुलेशन बाय योरसेल्फ चेक इट आउट एंड देन ओनली यू सबमिट योर आंसर्स टू अवॉइड एनी एरर और एनी एनी मिस्टेक्स This is all about the week six assignment. I tried it uh, to the best of my knowledge. Try each and every step by yourself. Do the calculations yourself, and then only fill your answers and submit your answers. This is Shraddha Vanode signing off. Thank you and happy learning.